Hey everyone, so this is Shay, and I just wanted to come on here really quickly and do a very quick um, installation video for you guys. Um, it's not going to be perfect because I'm not a YouTuber, but I'm going to try my best to get this done for you guys because I have had a few questions on uh, tips and tricks and how to install hair. Um, so firstly, your hair prep. Um, I've washed my hair and so because my hair is going in um, the foundation was to do cornrows like I do cornrows straight back and everything goes right under the wig so in order to do that I washed my hair shampooed after I shampooed I did a deep conditioning treatment and you all know the henna mask that I use for myself but i also sell it you can contact me on the hair page for it um after i used the henna mask i sat under a bonnet for about half an hour and then i got up and did some dishes and whatnot cleaning and um then after the deep conditioner i conditioned um i don't know i just like the extra conditioning step and then after i got out of the shower after I rinsed all that out, I sprayed my hair with the um, tea tree, sorry, not tea tree, the tea, the herbs and tea spray, spray that all over my hair. And then I did my leave-in conditioner. Um, when I'm doing braids for cornrows, I don't really, I'm not very specific about which one. When I'm wearing my curls, it's a different situation. But I just grabbed any leave-in I had in my um, hair closet. This is the, uh, Ours curls only, so it's for curls, but I just wanted something to be a leave-in. Um, so that, and then after I do the uh, my leave-in, then I go in and seal everything up with the um, hair by shape oil. So you would get it in this jar. Uh, mine's pretty much done. I uh, pour the last of it in the jar. Um, so then I, that goes all over my hair. Um, I part my hair into about either six sections or four and there I do at each section one at a time. And then I braid my hair straight back. Um, I, I'll let it air dry and then braid it straight back. And then after it's straight back, I will go again with some oils between the cornrows, massage it in a little bit. And then I pop in my cap and I'm ready to begin. Okay. So now we are here, present. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder on my thing, my cap, because I don't know, when I use the spray, I always get that like little white type cast, like where you use the spray. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can color my, um, my cap before and see like what that does for me if it helps out any bit so i will be back i'm just gonna you know continue doing that give me one sec okay i'm back so i have just put on my foundation i used um this hold on Okay, sorry. So I have used this Maybelline and then because I like it to show up really well, I use my foundation and NARS. Yep. So the next step is to grab your spray. I like, well, I like to do the bald cap method. So I'm gonna grab my spray and start off with that. I probably have to take off my glasses. Um, let me fix that light. Okay, getting up close and personal. Okay, so what you're gonna do is just spray your hairline. So.
out here. So I'm just making sure it's in and then you're just using your finger, making sure you get all that. So you can grab your blow dryer or you can go do something and let that dry. I will be right back. Okay, we are back. Um, so now the... So now the um, spray that I put in my hair is completely dried. Um, I started blow drying it, but then I actually went to go finish a couple of orders that I had for clients for... Um, some more oils and hair products so I did that and so now I'm completely dried and what I did was I just took a um, brown lip pencil and I outlined my hairline or a hairline and I'll be cutting it so I'll be right back I'm gonna grab my scissors okay so what I'm doing is just basically lifting because it'll be really sticky and So I've cut and everything seems to be pretty much laid down. If it wasn't laid down properly, what I would do would just be take a tiny, teeny bit and like just rub, rub, rub. I think I might do it just for um, good measure, but it's really not needed at all because all the edges are like pretty much laid down. I'll do here to get... You know, these little corner parts to stick down anymore. Okay, so I am going to be right back. Just gonna blow dry what I just wet. Okay, so I have finished blow drying all the edges. They are doing very well. <laughs> all of them are super laid down. So, we are at a really good start, or midway, I don't know, we're close. Okay, so at this point, um, you can go touch up your cap and your wig um, with your foundation. So, I had already put some in the beginning, I'm just going to darken it a little more, and then cover up some, so just darken, darken, darken. I'm gonna take a little bit, just a tiny bit of foundation. And so, you don't have to do this, it's pretty dirty, but um, pump it on and then like spread it out so you don't hit one area directly with too much foundation and just blot it in. So, blah, 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 blah. Um, because my wig that I'm about to put on is a uh, middle view part, a uh, middle print, middle part with a closure. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> it's a middle part with a closure, so I am just primarily focusing my foundation with to the center. If you were wearing a closure, you would be working out the sides as well. Okay, perfect. We are good. That is done. Now what we are doing, or what I like to do, you can take a makeup wipe. I personally like to get alcohol because I'm also very oily. So I'm just going to take a bit of alcohol. Try not to soak your pad because you will 
you might get too close to the actual cap and alcohol will definitely unravel all your hard work thus far so what i'm doing is trying to get as close as i can I don't know what happened with the music. So anyways, just trying to get as close as I can to the hairline. And that seems to be good. So let that dry. Don't know what happened to my music. Whatever. Okay. Then I'm taking some Walker's Tape Scalp Protector. Voila. And I am just going to press down a thin layer onto my scalp and we're gonna let that dry grabbed my wig she is looking very crazy but that's fine it's not gonna last very long I'm just waiting for this on my forehead to dry completely there so here's my wig Kind of looking a little crazy, but in the end, it will look beautiful, I promise. So I'm just brushing it out, I'm a little rough, but I don't know what happened to the music, so next time I pause, I'll try to fix it. Just brushing it out. Um, it sounds like I'm being super rough, maybe I am, but not really. I'm just trying to make sure all these tangles are out. Um, you get it gets very tangled at in the nape area sometimes, like with all that rubbing on your clothes. So I'd like to make sure that the neck is really brushed out before I put it back on. Okay, so this is the wig. Uh, simple closure wig by me. Um, that's what it looks like. I'm thinking it's a little wet because I had washed it a little bit earlier. Um, let's see. Mm. I'm probably gonna dry it a little bit, so I'll be right back. Okay, back. So I just dried my wig a little bit um, because it's pretty wet. It's still pretty damp, but whatever, it's fine. So um, if you haven't already done so with your wig in your closure part, what you'll do is just take some of your powder foundation and your powder brush, and you're just going to get it all in there I've done so already and it's pretty dyed so I'm okay now I'm going to take a couple of clips and clip back as much hair as I can from the line the start of the closure back that that way when we apply our glue nothing gets in there okay I should get a popsicle stick I did not think about that but we're going to work without So usually I would use a popsicle stick, but I forgot to grab one and I'm not going to get up for one. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little brush and very make a very, very thin line. So I only grab like a little bit. And what I'm doing is gonna sweep that across my hairline. So 
Sleeping cross. Okay, so it's very thin. You could hardly even see it there. But I have that line there. So I'm going to grab my blow dryer, blow dry it, apply another layer. I'm probably going to do about three layers, and then I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So I have about three layers on, and so that's my all I'm going to do for layers. So what I'm going to do now is pop wig on head. Okay, and now we are going to position it. Hold on. So we are trying to get as straight as possible. So I'm going to need this. So it looks like clips don't want it to work with me right now. So let's check. Okay. And now we're just going to bring the lace all the way forward to my very front and be right back i'm just going to make sure it's straight because the last thing you want to do is apply your wig and that's not straight so let me go check my wig going to do the yeah so now it's on and I'm just going to take take your comb and rub up and so we have that and be right back I'm going to finish clipping this properly okay so I've clipped the hair back and I've tried to bring out mostly just baby hairs um there are a few long ones in there but it will so i'm just gonna rough these up so i have my good bees okay taking a little toothbrush and just rough, roughing everything up you know so then that way we are able to style uh, let's see I have a few long hairs in here so that should be good so what i'm going to do is use the different got to be this is like the invincible there is a hair somewhere somewhere okay this is the um it's recording okay the invincible styling gel the black one so what i used on the perimeter is the um, yellow one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take a teeny tiny bit. I don't, I don't want it too wet. The if it's really wet, it um, doesn't dry very well. So what I'm going to do is take a teeny bit and going to start not too close to um, the start of the closure. Start more at the bottom and work up. So, looking kind of crazy. Okay, that should be good. And now I'm going to style baby hairs in no particular order or fashion so what is that okay. 
There you go. Toothbrush. Always gotta revert back to the toothbrush. Nothing does it like it. And. Yes. Try to sound them. Um. So baby hairs are styled, I don't know what's sticking out. So baby hairs, they're styled. Um, okay. So these, it kind of looks like very, um, you know, like one big whoop of it. Um, not looking at Whatever. Um, but the way that my hair falls, you will literally only see right here. So I really care about this one. So I'm just going to style a little bit and then I'll show you. I'm just going to pop on one of these and then I'll be straightening my hair and I'll be back when I am finito. And now we are finished. So I have finished straightening up all of the hair and yeah, so this is kind of the end result. I'm probably going to straighten it a little more. Um, like it very bone straight and no but yeah yeah I think I might shorten that a little more we'll see I got a piece of fuzz. I think I got it.